Good morning. Today we'll be doing the Liturgy of the Hours morning prayer for Sunday, April 3rd. Today is the fifth Sunday in Lent. Let's go through the pages. For the breviary, our hymn is page 47, 1087 for the Antiphon and Psalms, 343 for the reading. Christian prayer book is hymn 92, 707 for the Antiphon and Psalm. 364 for the reading. Let's have a moment of silence as we begin our prayer. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. <laughs> My God, you have become my help. O oh God, you are my God, for you I long. For you my soul is thirsting, my body pines for you. Like a dry, weary land without water, so I gaze on you in the sanctuary to see your strength and your glory. For your love is better than life. My lips will speak your praise, so I will bless you all my life. In your name I will lift up my hands, my soul shall be filled as with a banquet, my mouth shall praise you with joy. On my bed I remember you, on you I muse through the night, for you have been my help. In the shadow of your wings I rejoice, my soul clings to you, your right hand holds me fast. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. My God, God you have, have become, become my, my help. help. Free us by your wonderful works. Deliver us from the power of death. Bless the Lord, all you works of the Lord. Praise and exalt Him above all forever. Angels of the Lord, bless the Lord. You heavens, bless the Lord. All you waters above the heavens, bless the Lord. All you hosts of the Lord, bless the Lord. Sun and moon, bless the Lord. Stars of heaven, bless the Lord. Every shower and dew, bless the Lord. All you winds, bless the Lord. Fire and heat, bless the Lord. Cold and chill, bless the Lord. Dew and rain, bless the Lord. Frost and chill, bless the Lord. Ice and snow, bless the Lord. Nights and days, bless the Lord. Light and darkness, bless the Lord. Lightnings and clouds, bless the Lord. Let the earth Bless the Lord. Praise and exalt Him above all forever. Mountains and hills, bless the Lord. 
Everything growing from the earth, bless the Lord. New springs, bless the Lord. Seas and rivers, bless the Lord. You dolphins and all water creatures, bless the Lord. All you birds of the air, bless the Lord. All you beasts, wild and tame, bless the Lord. You sons of men, bless the Lord. O Israel, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt Him above all forever. Priests of the Lord, bless the Lord. Servants of the Lord, bless the Lord. Spirits and souls of the just, bless the Lord. Holy men of humble heart, bless the Lord. Ananiah, Azariah, Mishael, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt Him above all forever. Let us bless the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Let us praise and exalt Him above all forever. Blessed are you, Lord, in the firmament of heaven, praiseworthy and glorious and exalted above all forever. Free us. Free us by your wonderful works. works. Deliver, Deliver us from, from the power of death. death. The hour has come for the Son of Man to be glorified. Sing a new song to the Lord, His praise in the assembly of the faithful. Let Israel rejoice in its Maker. Let Zion's sons exult in their King. Let them praise His name with dancing, and make music with timbrel and harp. For the Lord takes delight in His people. He crowns the poor with salvation. Let the faithful rejoice in their glory, shout for joy, and take their rest. Let the praise of God be on their lips, and a two-edged sword in their hand. To deal out vengeance to the nations, and punishment on all the peoples. To bind their kings in chains, and their nobles in fetters of iron. To carry out the sentence preordained, this honor is for all his faithful. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The, the hour, hour has come, come for, for the Son, Son of Man, Man to be glorified. A reading from the book of Leviticus. These are the festivals of the Lord which you shall celebrate at their proper time with a sacred assembly. The Passover of the Lord falls on the fourteenth day of the first month at the evening twilight. The fifteenth day of this month is the Lord's Feast of Unleavened Bread. For seven days you shall eat unleavened bread. On the first of these days you shall hold a sacred assembly and do no sort of work. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Good morning, my brothers and sisters in Christ. Today we celebrate the fifth Sunday in Lent. In this morning prayer, we hear from the book of Leviticus. And it's important to recall who wrote the book of Leviticus. It was the prophet Moses, which both in Judaism and in Christianity, we hold him in high esteem as one of the major prophets. And Moses, through his writings in Leviticus this morning, are reminding us of three key elements. Pre preparation for the festival, which for us in Christianity is the preparation for Palm Sunday that is coming next week. And it makes reference to the assembly, the people, those present. And so Palm Sunday is not so much about the palms, but it's about that assembly gathering as we journey from the nave of the church into the sanctuary. This journey we've been on of Lent. The second element that's referenced in the book of Leviticus this morning is references the Passover. And for us in Christianity, the Passover 
is very closely tied to the passion of Christ, which is forthcoming. And lastly, in the book of Leviticus, we hear reference to the seven days and the holiness and the sacredness of once again the assembly. And what a beautiful reminder for us that Holy Week is almost here. We're in our final leg of our Lenten journey, and there is time to still spend with the Lord in internal spiritual reflection. Christ, Son of the Living God, have mercy on us. Christ, Christ Son, Son of, of the, the Living, living God, God, have, have mercy, mercy on us. us. You were wounded for our offenses. Have, have mercy, mercy on us. us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Christ, Christ Son, Son of, of the, the Living God, God have, have mercy on us. us. Our friend Lazarus has fallen asleep. Let us go and wake him. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our, our friend, friend Lazarus has fallen asleep. asleep. Let, Let us go and wake him. him. Let us praise our loving Redeemer, who gained for us this season of grace and pray to him, saying, Lord, Lord create a new spirit in us. Christ, our life through baptism, we were buried with you and rose to life with you. May, May we, we walk, walk today in newness of life. Lord, you have brought blessings to all mankind. Bring us to share your concern for the good of all. May we work together to build up the earthly city with, with our, our eyes fixed on the city that lasts forever. Healer of body and soul, cure the sickness of our spirit so, so that, that we, we may grow in holiness through your constant care. At this time, let's take a moment of silence to lift up our prayers and petitions to our Lord Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus, our Redeemer, we lift up to you our prayers and petitions, together with the prayers and petitions of each and every one praying with us this morning. We ask, dear Jesus, that you hear and answer each and every prayer as we say, Lord, create a new spirit in us. Lord, remember us when you come into your kingdom and teach us how to pray. 
our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Let us pray. Father, help us to be like Christ, your Son, who loved the world and died for our salvation. Inspire us by his love. Guide us by his example, who lives and reigns with thee in the Holy Spirit. God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Thank you for praying with us. We hope you can join us again tomorrow. Same time. Same place. Same, same channel. channel. Have, Have a great, great day. day.